Okay, this is what I'm scrapping for you today. This is a computer power supply. This one's from Adele. No, not the singer. But, uh, I like to leave the wires long. Because it makes them, makes them easier to strip. I don't cut the wires until until I get it all the time. Basically, you want to just get all the screws out of it. And this one has a stupid little wire tie. Got some tin. Ooh, never seen one like this before. We got more screws. More circuit board. More tin. Now this is a brass bearing plug end. I usually uh I usually get these out. I'll have to smash it with a hammer. But those are brass plug ends. And I say it all the time about circuit boards. Don't take anything off unless you're positive you can get the copper out of it. I know I can get the copper out of that. And I know I can get the copper out of that. Coat copper. Now this. You got trash. Break these fins off. And that's copper bearing motor. This little transformer here. Get the tape off and see if I can get the get the copper out of it. Yes, I can. See, and this is why I wanted the weight. Because now I can cut the wires shorter. Because I will be stripping all these. Now don't go breaking and smashing the circuit board apart. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to break this one. Like I said, don't take anything off the circuit board unless you're 100% positive you can get the copper out of it. No, I can get the copper out of this. No, 
and get the cop out of that. Now the tips of these heat sinks, these are always brass. So if you want, you can take a little extra time and nip them off. Because that is brass. A magnet won't stick to it. You can even see it's gold colored or copper or copper, yeah. Brass. But I sometimes take the time to go through those. Just clean up your heat sinks. Nice piece of extruded aluminum. All done with that. These transformers, there is no way I'm going to be able to get the copper out of those. So you don't want to break it too much. You want it to stay on the circuit board, but you got to get that screw out. Remember, heavier the circuit board, the better. Because if I peel these off, they become copper bearing. And copper bearing ain't worth nothing compared to circuit board. Oops. Alright, that does it for the circuit board and the aluminum. Okay, now this is all the stuff I got out of the circuit board. I got the uh, I got the transformer too. Um, for these things, I got um, this is actually cast iron. Well, you can throw it in with your tin, but I'll I'll get it with the magnet afterwards. But these you just pull apart, or you know, give them a couple taps with a hammer if you have to. But I'll get all that cast iron stuff with a magnet whenever I decide to clean my garage. And this little guy too. <laughs> And this is easy. Let's do this whack it once or twice. And it all comes apart. A nice piece of uh it's number two, but you could sneak it in with your bright wire if you wanted to. And now the brass bearing plug end. See if I can get that brass out. Oh, look at that. Came right out. A little bit of plastic left on that still. Look at that. That was easy. And now these are several different ways of getting these. This one has a seam. Well, sometimes you can tap it with a hammer. Oh, just like that. tape on it but usually you end up having to cut this with a hacksaw but I don't have a vise to clamp it in so I do it with my air chisel I 
they just pry it out from the other side. Now I do have a vice, but it's not bolted down. It's kind of a piece of crap. I'll find time to bolt it down. But you remember I cut that with a chisel. I was unable to pry it out, so I'm going to try uh, tapping it out. I got just a chisel here. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Copper. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all together. See how much we got. Okay, did pretty good. Got some circuit board. Got some aluminum. I got some tin screws and stuff. Got a little little bit of brass. I got some number two coated copper. Got some copper bearing. And I got some copper. Now I'm gonna call all this number two copper because I am gonna strip this. This is gonna go inside and get stripped. I weighed this. It weighed a little tiny bit over um, two pounds. So I just counted it as two pounds. But I got everything tallied up here. Ferris, nine cents a pound, two pounds of it, 18 cents. Uh, circuit board, number two circuit board, 75 cents a pound. I had one pound of it, 75 cents. And uh, copper number two, 320 a pound, two pounds of it, 640. So I probably got closer to eight if I counted all this stuff, you know, the, the circuit board and all the other crap. Probably would have had closer to eight. Because I actually started doing the math out. There was only 18 cents worth of aluminum in there. There's only 4 ounces. But yeah. Not bad for 15 minutes worth of work.